Hey there, surprised to see you there. So we just finished an entire section on Python. We learned the Python language. We learned the syntax and we can write Python now. That's awesome. But here's the thing. Do you feel ready for the real world? Do you know what to do with this newfound skill? You see, when you're first learning a language, a really hard jump is to learn the syntax and the rules of the language and then understanding how you can use that in the real world to make your life better, to improve a product, to create value for a company that you work for. And a lot of developers have this crossroads that they encounter once they learn their first language. And that is, what now? What projects do I build? How is this useful? Where can I use Python? If you've gotten this far in the course, this slide should make sense to you by now. Because if I asked you the question, where can you write Python code and have it work? The answer should be pretty obvious, right? Because if we have a Python file or multiple files, that is modules, and we have a Python interpreter or a compiler, then by having these two things, we can run them anywhere that has a machine, that has a computer. We can run it on our own computers, our own laptops, like we have been throughout the course. We can even run Python code on mobile. Again, as long as we have an interpreter and some Python scripts, we can run those on mobile. And if you Google running Python on mobile, you'll see just how to do that. You can run Python on servers. And servers, at the end of the day, are just computers. So any computer, any machine that understands ones and zeros is able to run Python code as long as we have these two pieces. And this is where the power comes in. The power is that we now are able to use Python to do the tasks that as humans, maybe we're not as good as machines. That is automating things, doing things that are really repetitive, doing them really fast. That's why machines are so powerful. Maybe they're not as creative as humans. Maybe they can't speak or write fictional novels. But what they're really, really good at are calculations, simple tasks that they can do thousands, millions, billions of times in a matter of seconds, something that humans can't do. And we use Python to help us as humans to be more productive, to create things so that our machines run our Python code and make our lives easier. And throughout the next couple of sections, we're going to try and answer that for you. That is, we're going to show you where you can apply Python, whether it is to your day-to-day -day life, whether it is to work for a company, or maybe you want to create your own startup. We're going to show you how you can apply the knowledge that you've just gained into different projects, your own personal projects, for example. Because this is where Python shines. Python is one of the most popular programming languages because it can be applied to lots of things. How many things? Well, we can do web development. We can do image processing. We can send emails with Python. We can even send texts with Python. We can do machine learning with Python. We can create our own Twitter bots. We can do data visualization and data analysis. We can do something called data scraping. We can just do any general scripting with Python. We can do automation and we can process files like PDFs, Excel files, and many others. And we're actually going to show you and build projects around all of these topics in the upcoming sections. I know, very exciting, seems kind of overwhelming. But the goal is now that we have the foundation of Python, I want to show you where we can apply the skill so that by the end, we have all the tools necessary for you to dominate the world as a Python programmer and have this tool that you can utilize in anything that you want. It's a bold statement. 
but it's very exciting and I think you're going to really like these next sections. Let's get started.